Hi there and welcome to this video on GCSE Biology for the AQA specification focusing on cell division and in particular chromosomes. I'm Shumana from StudyMind, where we help you revise GCSE Biology with our helpful video tutorials tailored to your subject, your specification and to you. If you're new here, make sure you click the subscribe button. Whilst you are watching, please leave any comments below if you're unsure about anything and let us know if it's your first time watching our videos so we can send you our free revision materials. We also have helpful timestamps below for each part of the video to help guide you through the specification. So let's get started. Hello and welcome to tutorial one of three on cell division. Today we'll be looking at chromosomes and as part of that we're going to be discussing chromosomes in their natural location which is the nucleus and also discussing the concept of chromosomes being kept in pairs. So first let's take a look at what chromosomes actually are. So the nucleus contains genetic information and this genetic information is stored in our chromosomes. So this affects the makeup of the cell and ultimately it determines which proteins are made. And remember proteins are so so important in the body because they form structural elements, enzymes, hormones. Pretty much most of the important parts of your body are either made up of proteins or regulated by proteins. So proteins are so so important which is why our genetic information is so important. And so as you can see here it's stored in the nucleus in these chromosomes and you can see these chromosomes are kind of shaped a little bit like an X and we'll be talking more about that a bit later. So a chromosome is made up of many coiled up sections of DNA and DNA is manipulated in multiple different ways as we'll see in later tutorials and so because the chromosome is made up of these very tightly coiled up sections of DNA I mean they're almost if, I, if you were to you know, look at a chromosome in detail, the DNA will be coiled up tightly like this. And so when uncoiling DNA, when you are manipulating it, for example, when you're replicating DNA, it is so, so important that the DNA does not become tangled. So a gene is a section of DNA that codes for certain characteristics. Therefore, a chromosome has many genes. So if we were going to do it almost like a hierarchy, your DNA forms your genes. Your genes code for a certain characteristic and many genes make up a chromosome. So just to make that a bit clearer for you, that means that DNA is a section of a gene or it makes up the gene and a gene is a small section of a chromosome so this means that DNA is a smaller unit than the gene and the gene is a smaller unit than the chromosome so I've kind of put these in a hierarchy of smallest to largest just to make that a bit clearer for you So it's just really important for you to remember here that each chromosome has many genes and each gene is formed up of much DNA. So let's take a look into how chromosomes are actually found in the nucleus. So we acquire our chromosomes from our parents, which means that we have two copies of each chromosome, one from our mum and one from our dad. Humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes, so they are always found in pairs as so, as you can see with these chromosomes here. Pair number one, and pair number, or I shouldn't really say pair number two, but in the pair there's a number one chromosome and a number two chromosome. So remember, each set of chromosomes gets one copy from the father and one from the mother. That's crucial for you to remember, and that will become clearer in later tutorials too. So it's so important that chromosomes are paired, and in fact, if they're not, this can actually lead to genetic disease. So an example that you can perhaps remember for your exam is that if you have an extra chromosome 21, this gives rise to Down syndrome. So if you learn this, this could be a really good example to slip into an essay. So 
As I said earlier, we have 23 chromosomes in the human body, and here they are. So, also as I said earlier, note that they are found in pairs. So if you look at all of them, they're all paired up. And for example, if we were to focus on chromosome number 10, just for example, we would have one from dad and one from mum. Oops. So we have our 23 chromosomes, and if you just take a closer look, we've actually got 22 chromosomes plus one pair of sex chromosomes. And so these are all pairs. So therefore, we, overall, we have 23 pairs of chromosomes. So essentially we have 23 multiplied by 2, which is 46 chromosomes overall. But it's just important for you to remember that we have 23 pairs of chromosomes and including one pair of sex chromosomes, which we'll come on to talk about in a subsequent tutorial. So that's all for today. I hope those concepts made sense to you. And just remember to take away the key words from this session, such as gene, DNA, chromosomes, and pairs. Well done for today, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching this free video from Study Mind. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to catch our newest videos by clicking below and leave a comment on a topic you'd like a video on. Click here to watch more videos in our series for GCSE Biology, or visit our website, studymind.co.uk for free past paper compilations by topic and specification.